I'm Hard. Today we're delving into the depths of cinematic mediocrity with No Hard Feelings, a film that left me with more hard feelings than a breakup gone wrong. Let's start with the plot, or, you know, like thereof, I've seen paint dry with more captivating storylines than this. The main character is about as interesting as a cardboard cutout. I mean, I've seen more charisma in a potato, let's be fucking honest. And the support cast, just just as fucking forgettable. They bring about as much depth to the story as a puddle in the desert. But wait, it gets worse. The pacing of this film is slower than a snail on sedatives. I found myself dozing off more times than I can count. It's like the director took the term slow burn a little bit too literally and singed my patience to a crisp. And let's not forget about the dialogue. If I wanted to hear a bunch of wooden delivery and uninspired lines, I'd attend a community theater production. Seriously, I've heard more natural conversations in a kindergarten classroom. Oh, and did I mention the cinematography? Because I must have missed it. All I saw were generic shots and unremarkable camera work. It's as if the cinematographer forgot to bring their creativity to work that day. In conclusion, No Hard Feelings is the cinematic equivalent of watching paint dry with just a few extra layers of disappointment thrown in. Or at least I think it is, because I haven't, I haven't watched it. If you value your time and your sanity, I'd suggest you steer clear of this cinematic blunder. Yeah, just, just remember guys, sometimes it's better to skip the film altogether.